Hi everybody, welcome back to the Feynman Technique. Uh, today I've got another classic Feynman integration example. This is the integral we'll be uh, integrating. Um, so let's just get started. First step, as usual, reparameterize. Um, now it might have been tempting at first to replace every single one of these twos, reparameterize every single one of them with a T. Um, Go ahead and try that out. It doesn't work out very nicely. What works out nicely is this. Um, so our f of t is this. You can see I just replaced this 2 and this 2 with a t. Next step, we differentiate under the integral sign using the Leibniz rule. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, first, we um, calculate some, some values for our f of t. Uh, f of 0 is going to equal 0. That's pretty easy to see. And f of 2 is, of course, going to give us back our original integral. Now we differentiate. So this is what you get if you differentiate f of t with respect to t. All you do, the Leibniz rule says all you have to do is take the partial with respect to t of that integrand, the inner function on the integral, with respect to t, um, and leave the rest alone. Differentiating with respect to t will give us this. Um, so that's our f prime of t right there. And now we'll, um, we'll say that f prime of 2 is equal to 0, uh, which it is. We just have cosine 2 minus cosine, or cosine 2x minus cosine 2x. That's what we get. So f prime of 2 is 0. Next step, we take another derivative with respect to t. And what you'll get if you do that is negative... Um, integral 0 to infinity of sine tx over x dx. And we know that that integral converges to pi over 2. Um, so the entire thing uh, goes to negative pi over 2. All right, so we've got f double prime of t um, is just negative pi over 2. And of course, we have t not equal to 0. Um, because if it was 0, it would not equal negative pi over 2. It would be 0. But so we reintegrate to get f prime of t. So f prime of t is negative 2 integral dt. Uh, and that will evaluate to c minus pi over 2t. And then we'll use um, our found value for f prime of t. That was f prime of 2 is equal to 0 to give us c is equal to pi. All right, so now f prime of t is pi minus pi over 2t. We just replace that c with what we found it to be. All right, so now we integrate again to get back to f of t. Integrating that is just going to give us pi t minus pi t squared over 4 plus c. And then we use f of 0 equals uh, 0 uh, to give us pi, or, uh, c is equal to 0. So our f of t is pi t minus pi t squared over 4. And we know that if we plug in 2 for f of t, we get our original integral. So i, which is our original integral, is f of f at 2, which is this, also our original integral. And that evaluates to 2 pi minus 4 pi over 4, which is equal to pi. So there you go. The integral from 0 to infinity of sine 2x minus 2x times cosine 2x over x cubed is equal to pi. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you next time.